Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So this is a previous year question video of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. So where we will prepare based on the previous year questions of uh, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And today's video is all about number systems in digital electronics. I have tried to include maximum things from uh, number systems. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see some basic aspects and we'll do some questions. Okay. So, uh, if you have not seen the channel before, please consider subscribing to the channel. We can see like you can see job updates and electronics uh, competitive exam related contents through this channel okay so let us see the first uh, question or first topic actually so i am going to talk about the number systems and bases so there is various type of number systems that we use in digital electronics the main type of number uh, systems that we use are binary decimal octal hexa okay now, what are called binary numbers? Binary numbers means uh, numbers that are having base of 2 are called binary numbers. Binary numbers. Numbers that are having base of 2. Numbers with base of 10 is called decimal number. Decimal numbers. Numbers with base of 8 is called octal numbers. And numbers with base of 16 is called hex or hexadecimal numbers okay so this can uh, be asked as a question so that's why i thought like it can be a separate separate question what is the base of binary numbers what is the base of decimal numbers what is the base of octal numbers or uh, if a number has base of 16 what is it it is a hexadecimal number right so that is the first thing these are the bases and its corresponding names okay question is what is the truth complement of this given number so basically this given number is a binary number now i'm going to talk a little more about binary numbers in binary number system we only have numbers 0 and 1 so we represent all binary numbers as combinations of zeros and ones okay so that is one important thing you have to note down now uh, how to find a two's complement of a binary number so this is a binary number how to find the two's complement of this binary number now, before talking about the two's complement, we have to talk about one's complement. In order to find the one's complement of this given number, what I am going to do here is first take all the numbers and toggle the values. Toggling means if one is there, make it as zero. If zero is there, make it as one. Okay, so let us do that. So I am going to write down this number one more time. So this is the given number. Given number. Okay, so this is the given number which is 1011011. So this is the given number. In order to convert this as 1's complement, please ignore my handwriting. In order to uh, change it as 1's complement, what you have to do is you have to change all 1's to zeros and zeros to 1. So basically, it is this is 1. So it will be 0, 0. 1 0 0 1 0 okay i'm going to just erase this and i'm going to write it here okay so exactly below the number i have written all numbers is inverted 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 so this is the ones complement okay now how to change it to twos complement simply add one to this ones complement and you will get the twos complement so, 2's complement will be this, where it is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So, this is the 2's complement and this is how you find the 2's complement. Okay. So, we talked about binary numbers. All binary numbers are zeros and 1's combination. What's its 1's complement and what's its 2's complement. Okay. Next question, I'm going to write on the board that is convert 3, 1, 2 to the base 8. So, what is to the base 8? It is an octal number. Okay. To decimal. How to convert an octal number to decimal? So, this is the question. Convert this number to decimal. How to convert an octal number to decimal? In order to convert the octal number to decimal, you have to multiply the position values with powers of 8. Okay. I am going to explain more about it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how step by step converting a octal number to decimal. So the number is 312. Okay. Now this 312 has position values 0, 1 and 2. So this is 0th position. This is first. This is second position. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this as powers of 8. That is 8 square. 8 raised to 1 and 8 raised to 0. Now multiplying this position values with the respective numbers. So that is 2 into 8 raised to 0 plus 1 into 8 raised to 1 plus 3 into 8 raised to 2. Okay. So this is how you are going to multiply the 8 to the powers. Power means the position values. This is 0th position, so 8 raised to 0, then 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 2. Multiply with the corresponding numbers. And then you will be getting, now why we are multiplying with powers of 8? Because it is an octal number. If it is a binary number, then it is powers of 2, multiplied with powers of 2. So if you are, if you want to convert a binary number to decimal means, this 8s will be changed as 2s. And if you want to convert a hexadecimal number to decimal means, this 8 will be converted as 16s. Okay, so that's why initially the first thing I uh, said in this uh, video is, what is the base of every number system? For a uh, binary number system, base is 2. For a hexadecimal, it is 16. For an octal, octal uh, number, it is 8. So this is an octal number. So in order to convert as decimal, that is to the uh, power or to the base of 10 we need to multiply with 8 to the powers with the corresponding numbers okay so like this it will be now just solve this so this is equal to 3 8 square is 64 plus 1 into 8 plus 2 so 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 3 into 64 that will be so the answer coming is 202. So I just did the math and the answer coming is 202. Okay. So if you are asking like convert 312 to the base 8 to decimal and the options given are like 201, 202, 203. The answer is 202 to the base to the base 10 because we are converting to decimal. Okay. So just understand this conversion methodology of number systems. Okay. Then I'm going to write on the board that is about excess code excess now i'm going to talk about excess 3 code now if you are given a number 584 and if you are asked to find the excess 3 code of this number then how to find it so the steps i'm going to tell you okay so we are going to find excess 3 excess 3 means adding 3 to every number okay so this if the number is 584 i'm going to write one more time 584 adding 3 to every position what will be it will be 7 11 and 8 right so this is the excess 3 code and this is not the complete excess 3 code in order to completely represent it in binary format you have to convert each of this number in bcd okay bcd means representing the numbers as 4 bit binary bcd means 4 bit binary is called bcd okay so first step we have to do is whatever is the given number add 3 to every position so that is 8 11 and 7 now the next thing is convert this as bcd format binary coded decimal or bcd format with four digits for every number now how 8 is represented as uh, represented in bcd it is represented as 1000, 100 in BCD. Now, how is 11 represented in BCD? Now, if you don't know about BCD, just Google about uh, BCD numbers 1 to 15, you will get. Okay. Or else, there's a lot of videos on our channel. You can see them. Even I have explained about the number system uh, as number system part 1, number system part 2. You can watch that. Okay. So anyhow, just convert each of these numbers in BCD format. 11 in BCD format is represented as 1011. 7 in BCD format is 0111. So this is the final excess 3 code in binary 
for this 584. Okay. Excess 3 means adding 3 to every number. Okay. And then converting it to binary or BCD format. The last question for today's video is binary subtraction. Okay. So the question is, the question will be or the question can be, uh, the two, two numbers will be given. Find the binary subtraction or find subtract these two numbers. And the numbers can be in my binary. Okay. So these are two binary numbers. What is the binary subtraction result of uh, these two numbers? Okay. How you can do is you can uh, you can take the two's complement of the second number and then add with the first. Okay. So we'll we'll go step by step. So you don't have to uh, panic if you don't know anything about binary subtraction. The first uh, thing to note is understanding the rules of uh, binary subtraction. Okay. So I'm going to write the rules here. Rules. The rules is like this. If you are taking 1 minus 0 in binary, the answer is 1. If you are taking 1 minus 1, the answer is 0. If you are taking 0 minus 0, the answer is 0. But if you are taking 0 minus 1, 0 minus 1, then the answer is 1 with borrow 1. So for all these cases, borrow is 0. But for the other cases, that is only this case, that is 0 minus 1, it is just representing like a negative number. Okay. 1 with, the answer will be 1 with a borrow of 1. So this is the rules. Okay. Now, just keeping this in mind, you can do this binary subtraction. But the easiest way to do binary subtraction is, there are two numbers. Okay. So you are going to basically subtract this number from this number okay so take the two's complement of the second number and ignore the negative sign and add the two numbers so that i'm going to do here i'm going to uh, take the two's complement of that number that is the second number and i'm going to add with the first number now how to find two's complement we have already discussed so just write down this number that is zero one 0, 1, 1, 0. I am going to take the 2's complement. First, let us find the 1's complement. 1's complement will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is 1's complement. What is 2's complement? It will be plus 1. Right? 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this will be the, this will be the 2's complement of that second number. Right? It will be 101010. Now, you don't need any of this. You just need the result. Yeah. So, this is the 2's complement of this number. So, I am going to add this number with this number. Okay. I'm going to write this number on top of it. 101001. Zero, one, zero, zero, one. And then, now, there is no subtraction, only addition. 1. 1, 0, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. And the carry is there and the result is this. So the result is this. You can ignore the carry. Okay. So this is how you perform binary subtraction. The binary subtraction can be easily performed by taking the two's complement of the second number and adding with the first number. So that is all for today's video. Uh, the next video will be some other topic maybe networking or network technology or anything. Uh, anyhow, we'll be coming with more videos on uh, HAL management trainee recruitment that is going to happen very soon. That is on September 9th. So if you haven't applied for it, please apply for it and please start your preparations and then please keep on watching the videos. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching.